Salve, sono Franco Fracastoro. Hi, I'm Franco Fracastoro and I'm a product specialist from Steinberg. In this video, we'll see software and hardware integration to work with Nuendo in a virtual environment. The first thing to do is to configure our system. So let's start with the two trackers, one on the left and in this case on the right. We must check to see if the system is positioned in the best possible way. And we can see this if there are red lights, turned on and even a small letter to the left. The next thing we need to configure is the hardware interface and in this case we're using a Vive. On the interface where you can see the letters VR you'll connect to your headset. Over here you can see the letters PC and this is where you connect directly to the computer with a USB cable and a HDMI cable. Here we can verify that the two trackers are working correctly. Now it's time to activate the two controllers and we can do this by clicking on two buttons at the bottom of the pad. So let's go and open this new software called Dia VR. Now this will allow us to mix with Nuendo in a VR environment. Let's take the headset and now we can verify that everything is working properly. Next up, we take the two controllers and we click on the pads to calibrate them. We can decide to change the environment in which we work by clicking on the settings. And we can choose to work in three dimension or two dimension. It's the moment to open new window. So I'm going to file and then recent project and now I can open this project. Now that new window is open, I can open DVR and you can see that I have spheres. So we wear the headset controller and take the two controllers and we begin to see functions, big ones or main ones that are possible with DVR and new window. The individual spheres represent the channels in new window. If we trigger them, we can modify in the space and immediately this kind of displacement will be registered in new window as a shift of audio into a 3D environment. By clicking on a button at the top of the controller, we can change the level, raising the volume of every single channel. And you can see that in Nuendo, you have exactly the same kind of reaction. If I click again on automations, in this case, the pad splits into three parts. There is the off, the read, and the read and write option. In this case, we click on the read and write, and we activate it with the controller. We can also put the channel in solo and mute. Again, I can click on the channel and in the central part we have the play option and we can hear the solo of the channel. At the bottom we have the transport bar where we have the loop in and loop out and the possibility of putting markers or even open additional windows like this and this is called the mini map. We can click on a trigger and here we can see all of our channels. We can change them visually. We can enter in the scene and here you can see this arrow which corresponds to the movement of my controller. I open another important window here and this is where we see the view meters. We can have solo in every single channel, we can either mute or change the volume. This window here is equally as important and if we click on this we can see all the channels that are visible in DVR and the ones that we can't see. We can put it into solo or we can mute every single channel. We can see the situation with automation and we can also work with presets or even presets that are present in this panel. For more information on Nuendo and these type of applications, please visit steinberg.net. Thank you.